Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73 back with the Double E Show. Trucking. <laughs> so this is the first episode that will be live only on the Double E Show Trucking channel. So hopefully you've all subscribed and come over to watch the uh, progression of our career. Now, I did come up here to uh, Boston to buy this garage, and uh, it's not 80000 as I had hoped. It is 180000 We have a lot to do. And uh, so our first thing we're going to do is we're going to go take a job from Boston uh, to New York and uh, make a little money, throw it in the coffers, and try to add to our eighty-six grand. So let's hop in the truck. started here all right okay so uh let's uh let's get underway happy monday everybody hopefully you uh you all had a great weekend um hopefully we can clear this oh my god that was close okay so i gotta pull out and take a left um not sure whether i'll be able to see anything See headlights. You're gonna let me get out. Turn left. Or maybe not. But I'm out. And we'll get it up to thirty. We'll pick up this load now. Keep left and then turn left. Yeah, it looks okay. Yep. Whoa. Okay. So we're taking a left. Turn and left. And then it looks like our destination is right around the way here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Get ready to turn left. Going in here to Walbert. Uh, and I believe we're taking turn the delivery left. to um, 2 3 down in uh, New York. New York. Alright. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. Okay. Let's pull forward. Get the job activation screen. Hopefully. Go forward. Get the job activation screen. Hopefully. Go forward. Somewhere. Okay, let's back it up. Might be that blotch over there. is okay let's see we are going freight market we're taking this job here which is closed from boston mass down to 42 print apparently they're going to have some graphics put on their tees so we're going to do that we're going to take the job and it looks like our trailer right over there on the other side of this double so uh let us go over Yeah. Get our trailer, which is right there at the cones. Very nice. And it's a shorter trailer, which is pretty good. Let's turn into the fence and stop. Back into it. Let's uh, bring up our mirror. I cannot see over that way. All right, right on. Okay, spin it in. That looks pretty good there. Straight back. Nope. Pull forward. Square it up a bit. Let's 
Gonna take a little work. Forward. I've got advanced coupling on. And it's kicking my butt right now. That's, that's not going to work. Pull forward. Pull forward. Right on. Okay. There we go. Put it in neutral. Pop out. Shut the trailer. Lights are on. Alright, put our flashers on. Seem to be working. Right on. Let us get underway. Alright. So, not a super heavy trailer by any means. This should be a fairly easy job. Barring any road issues. Oh. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm hooked up on the other trailer. So... Tis what happens when you don't pay attention. Look at that. Look at that, Jibba. Now, I think I have some lot guy come along and straighten that other trailer out. What are you doing, man? Stay far left so we can make this turn. Because we got to go right out of here. Turn right. Yep. Um, doesn't look like anything's coming. Okay, so uh, the new plan here is um, we need to get to 180k to buy the Boston Garage. That's expensive. <laughs> so because of that, um, we're going to probably spend a little bit on truck upgrades over the next couple of uh, trips. Looks like I'm going off to the left, so I'm going to get in the left lane. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we will do some we will do some truck upgrades here and there. Uh, we have a fairly basic truck as it is now. Might look at upgrading the engine. Um, well, we only have about, uh, we're a little shy of 1,700 miles on the truck. Oh, hopefully I was in the intersection. Okay, good, it counted me as in the intersection. Um, I'm gonna get over here to the right. So, the, the idea is is that about every 3,000 miles we're going to do the uh, scheduled truck maintenance, make sure that uh, tires are taken care of and any damage that we've done to the truck is taken care of because we are owner operators so we do own this vehicle. Uh, we want to take care of it because it's our bread and butter. It's what's going to make us money. So we will do that at about every 3,000 miles. Rumble strips, get off of those. And uh, as well, keep right. yep, we're gonna keep right, very good. Uh, as well, we wanna make sure that we, uh, we have the best operating equipment in our vehicle. So we might upgrade the engine, make sure we can pull bigger loads, uh, get stuff done. Exit. Right. Yep. Right on. Okay, take it back down a gear. I don't want to go too fast around the uh, pretzel. Okay. Signal 
left to get out. And we're out on the highway heading to New York. Now there's nothing wrong with the motor we have in here. It'll pull most of our loads. But remember, the idea is to be able to do long hauls heavier loads, more fragile content from our Walbert and sell goods, if possible. Check cruise control. Um, because if we can, if we can do uh, higher grade product rather than just clothes and pallets we can make a lot more money per trip and uh, part of what's going to do that for us is uh, if we have to upgrade the fuel tank per se or we have a bigger motor that can haul more uh, we can more capably do doubles uh, double trailers are going to get us some more money of course here we go here New Haven and New York going this way. Looks like we're coming up on Providence here around the way. Go yep. straight on. Okay. So back off the speed a little bit since it dropped down to 55. And then we'll go back up to 65. Go straight on. not okay so I'm gonna back it off again because I can't not afford a ticket I know it was double negative I meant that um, let's back it off a little bit more and back up to 65 one two three four okay so I have cruise control set to go in two mile per hour increments uh, it's more so close to what I have in my personal vehicle and life so I'm trying to make this realistic right on so traveling at night not a lot of traffic very good it's only uh, 9 53 p.m. we should be there uh, by a little after half past one in the morning just I mean not 100% realistic. Boston to New York is uh, definitely a little bit more than five hours. Uh, right now it's showing uh, three and a half hours. Yeah, it's a little bit more than five hours. I know from where I live uh, in northeastern Massachusetts, it's about six and a half hours to eastern Pennsylvania. So yeah, so you can tell the uh, the trips are a little abbreviated. All right, I'm gonna step it up another notch on the cruise control. I'd like to get there uh, today. <laughs> right on. So the nice thing is too is that we're doing a Friday to Saturday trip, so hopefully we don't run into any uh, commuter traffic Saturday morning on our return trip. Uh, because we will be taking a trip from New York back towards our home base, if possible, uh, we don't want to we don't want to take trips going too far out away from our home base because we always want to try to be home um, at the end of at least every other trip. Uh, part of the benefits of being an owner operator is uh, you don't have to go on cross country hauls unless you want to. And where we do not have a sleeper in our truck at the moment, there goes a loud motorcycle. Um, we don't really want to take trips where we have to sleep in the cab sitting up. And uh, the further we get from home, the more likely that will be. Now we're good on rest, which we got after last trip. We're good on fuel. This shouldn't put a ding in our fuel really at all because it's not that long of a trip 
So, you know, that being said, yeah, let's, uh, let's get another viewpoint. Seven? Yeah, seven looks cool. Looking from the road. Since this is the first full-on video on the Double E Trucking channel, uh, I'm hoping that uh, those of you who were watching over on uh, the Double E Show channel uh, will come over and have come over. Um, because there'll be no advertising on the Double E Show channel. Uh, you know, no video to let you know to come over here. Probably going to mention it several times in the next couple of update videos, uh, monthly updates and whatnot. I know one of the first things I want to buy as a uh, upgrade. I want to put a CB radio in the dang truck uh, so we can have some trucker noise going on because uh, I can't have a radio radio. <laughs> uh, would not be good. Although I'm far from monetizing, I don't want to get into the issues of constant uh, copyright claims. All right, I'm going to bump up the speed of Skosh because I don't like this truck hovering to my right because if I have to take a right, he's blocking my path. Hopefully he's pulling off into Glen Falls and Albany. Either he backed off because he's got to go straight as well. Go straight on. Or, well, he's forced to exit whatever he does. All right. Taking a notch down on the uh, cruise control again. Because I don't like dipping into the red. I'm going to pass a cop right at that point. And we're in New Jersey. Because we're doing the loop around. We go down to New Jersey and come back around into New York State. But anyways, uh, as I was saying, I, uh, I want to get the uh, I want to get the CB radio. I want to get some CB noise going in the truck, and then uh, again we can look at uh, we can weigh the benefits of uh, elongating the chassis for uh, fuel tanks, or uh, the benefits of adding a bigger motor for uh, better hauling. 
but with bigger motor comes more fuel consumption so we have to consider that as well looks like I'm taking an exit coming up here exit right the city. On the brakes, on the brakes. And then that car cut over at the end there. Did you see that? Goes straight on. Car cut in behind me. All right, we are in New York. I didn't like having to use my Jake brake there at the uh, entrance to the downtown. Um, I would have preferred having to hop off a highway and come into town rather than the highway turn into the downtown. But uh, Mantra, who makes the uh, Coast to Coast mod, uh, he has a, a lot of helpers working on it with him. Uh, hopefully that's something they'll... Uh, they'll work out in the end. But, it is a nice skyline. Right on. Keep right, and then turn right. Just need a few more buildings in that skyline. a truck with beacons right on okay so one way in you have arrived at your destination your route guidance is now finished looks like Bob's working the gate all right gonna tell me where to park Okay, let's uh, back it up a skosh. Okay, try this 
way. Somewhere in here it's going to tell me to pull forward. But I don't know where yet. I'm going to go up over the curb any second. On the curb. Okay. Um, by the time I get done this, I'm going to need a nap. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, see where they want it. So, uh, where do you need it? Will get us 40 XP. Uh, they want it there. We will take that. Right on. Okay. Get off the curb each year. We're going to pull down in. Like so. And then we are going to spin it. Looks like Bob's cousin Bob is working back there. Kind of way to the left, so let me pull forward. Thank God they got a lot of. Oh, look, it's uh, Bob and Bob's cousin, Robert. Okay. All right. So, look it around. better at this the more we do it, that's for sure. Uh, just to take some getting used to where I was doing the auto parking for so long. And how are we? How'd we hit it? Right there. Okay. We will hop out. Yeah, that looks good to me. We will, uh, Park brake on. Turn the engine off. Unhook the trailer. And we will get paid. Alright, so we're getting full payment for this, which is great. That's uh, 7200 bucks. Uh, we did get another level. Very nice. So let's go continue. And uh, we'll put the last one in long distance here. Um, and then we're going to look at high value cargo um, for our next leveling. Right? So we've got some new upgrades available. Let's see what we got. Um, let's look at Kenworth. We got uh, rims, hubcaps, uh, wind deflector. Ooh, bigger motors. I'll take those bigger motors. Uh, better transmissions, mud flaps. Guards, shiny caps, uh, steering wheel, okay, a couple of steering wheels, very good, got it. And what was the other thing? A new upgrades available for trailers, which uh, it's a long way off for us to own a trailer. All right, so while we're sitting here, let's take a quick peek at the freight market here in New York and see if we got anything going back the other way. So, 4-2 print to Walbert in Burlington, Vermont. That would be a good one. 
Um, we've got New York to PA. It kind of takes us away from where we're going. This would go out to sell goods. That would be a big job, but I think we'll end up taking this one here. Um, clothes. Some clothes from 4-2 print to the Wallbird up in Burlington, Vermont. That seems like the best job for us right now. It'll put eight, uh, 12 grand in the coffers, which will put us at 105. Put just ever so much closer to our goal of 180. I'm actually going to set that as the GPS destination. And uh, we're going to call that an episode. So listen, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends if you have any suggestions as to what you'd like to see me do here in this career of American Truck Simulator with Double E Trucking. Put them in the comments below because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Monday for another episode of American Truck Simulator. Peace. That was a failure of epic proportions, unacceptable.